Today I'm going to learn how to make any object like a text face always the camera in Blender. So let's see. First of all, I'm going to edit the slide and stay with the camera and the cube. Let's go to Geometry Notes and create a new profile. We are going to start creating a text. So let's use String to Curve and let's create it here. I'm going to hide this panel because today we don't need it. And let's write something here, for example, a text. So we can see a text converted in curve. Let's select center and middle. And let's give a mesh with fill curve. So we have a text with a mesh, as you can see. And right now, what I want, if I press zero to see the camera view, is that this text always is facing the camera. So how we can do that? This is really easy. First of all, we are going to use this as instance. So let's disconnect this. And let's use as a main object a point. Let's connect here. And what we want to do right now is to convert this point to instance with instance on points. And let's use this object, the text, as instance. Why I'm doing this? Basically, because here we have the rotation. So we don't have to add extra nodes. And right now, the only thing we have to do is take the information of the camera with object info. So let's bring this node and select the camera. And here we need to use align Euler to vector. Well, right now I'm using Blender 4.2, so the name is align rotation to vector, but it's just the same node. So the first thing we have to do is to connect in vector, that is a position, a location. And you will see that right now the text is facing the camera. And if we try to move the camera, clicking here, you will see that the text always is facing the camera. However, the rotation is not solved. But at least we can move the camera and always is facing. So how is all the rotation? This is really easy, trust me. The only thing we have to do is to connect something here in rotation. And actually, we have the rotation of the camera. So if we connect this here, boom, it's done. We have a text always facing the camera. As you can see, it's really easy. Look, if I disconnect this, you will see what's happening. This connection is just to align the rotation, as you can see. Here we can select X, Y, or Z. So always we have like this line always perfectly aligned. And then if we align this, we align the normal. So the text always is perpendicular to the camera. That's all. That's how you align any object to the camera. Now I'm using a text, but you can use whatever you want. By the way, let's create a better setup. To see an example, I'm going to press zero to go out. And what I want right now is, for example, to bring an object like a monkey. And let's come back to the text. I'm going to lock this panel. And let's bring this Susan info, selecting Susan here. And let's use Join Geometry to connect different objects. So now we are using this Susan. However, let's hide the original object. Let's add the render view. Let's make the world darker. And what I want, first of all, is to add a light. For example, an area. Let's press G, Z, make it higher and bigger. Something like that. And let's give more power. Okay, so we have that. And I want to move the text and the Susan higher. So let's use transform. And let's make this higher. Something like this. And the text too. So let's make a copy. And make it higher. And the light too. So let's select the light. And, and higher. Now let's press zero to see with the camera how it looks like. Okay. We have the camera inverted. But as you can see, it's already working. So this is a good example. By the way, I'm going to add some materials. So we can see more colors, because if not, it's really sad. Set material. And let's make a material for the text. One that is pure white and that emit light. So I'm going to select one. And here, select this material. And what I want also is to add a floor. So let's use a grid. Connect it here. 
And let's create another material and make it black, for example. And select this for the floor. And let's make it bigger. So let's hide this. And now we have this, as you can see. By the way, I'm going to increase the light. So maybe 500 right now. So as you can see, right now we have a text always facing the camera. So you can use it, for example, to do this type of animations where you show an object and you want, for example, the text always facing the camera. I'm going to change the text and write the name of this object because it looks better. And I'm going to make the text a little higher. So as you can see, this is the final result. We have an object and the text always facing the camera. So I hope you learned something new. If you like this video, give a like, subscribe, and you can do this project and many more on my Patreon. And see you in the next video.